happy 4th of July on the end there. Good morning. Happy 4th of July, everyone, to those who celebrate. Peter Swain has his UK flag on in the background for all the traders who parted ways with the UK back in the day. We could all consider ourselves those. Hey, we're not traders. <laughs> I'm kidding, AM. I am kidding. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Morning Rush, the Independence Day edition of the Morning Rush, heart-centered leaders causing the change we want to see in the world. I pulled up the declaration. I pulled up chat GPT today, and I said, "What's what are some highlights? And it, it gave the opening lines. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I think sometimes today is a day we could gloss over. Sometimes it's a day we really get present to what it meant at a point in time in, I think, the U.S. world, the U.K. world with, with Mr. Peter Swain, and what it took for a group of people to declare their independence and the steps along the way. And um, I like to think about it, you know, some of the the privileges we have as a result of it. And also, you know, I think in our own lives, there's moments where we may declare our independence, where we may look at, you know, where, where am I declaring my own independence in some way? And I think the word interdependence came up earlier in this conversation before we got started as well. So I think it's an opportunity just to kind of tune in, reflect, what does this day mean to you or not mean to you? You know, it doesn't have to mean anything. We get to choose that. And certainly from different places and backgrounds, we may have different views. So I don't have a real big uh, ask today. Maybe we just go around and share what Independence Day is for us, how we're going to be celebrating, and we'll keep this uh, a lighter morning rush. Nancy, you said you met the sun this morning. It's good to have you on the morning rush. What are you doing today? What does is, what is Independence Day mean or not mean to you? Um. Well, it's got a whole new meaning for me now. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm living, I'm living independently for the first time in my entire life. Um, I walked away from a from a 30 something plus year marriage and I am I'm living life one day at a time discovering all there is to discover about myself and the world around me um embracing the suck <laughs> when it sucks and um I went to this retreat with Lisa Shrek um last weekend a mind power breakthrough retreat up in Jacksonville. And that was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we did this exercise. You know, we looked at life expectancy. And so, you know, if you if you expect to live to be 100 and the age that you have now, how many days you have left. And it was really sobering. And one thing that came up for me was, I want to see as many sunrises as I can. And so today was day seven. Um, so I, I get up in the morning. I've been beating the clock. And I uh, I get up and I walk over to Lake Ivanhoe Park. And uh, I watch the sunrise. And I share it with others, um, whether that's a live or a picture. And so it's not just for me. It's also to encourage others, right? So it's not boasting or bragging. Oh, look at me. I get up early. I meet the sun. No, I, I think it's an honor and a privilege to witness the birth of a brand new day. I have eyes to see, ears to hear. You know, I, I'm i alive. I feel alive, truly. And so that's part of what Independence Day means to me, to live in my independence, but know that I am also connected to others, the interconnectedness. Yeah. yeah. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> it's It sounds like it's got a a new meaning, a new perspective for you this year in particular. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's not like, I mean, when we were little, you know, when I was little, we went to the beach, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, the barbecues, getting together with family, but so much has changed. Everybody's scattered. Um, you know, people have 
passed on. So life looks really different. And so embracing all this newness of life, like I'm here and I get to, that's my passion mantra. I get to. <laughs> I love it, Nancy. I'm sensing a new energy, a new appreciation, a new perspective. And what a good day to kind of highlight that a little bit on this, this conversation. So thank you for that. No, you're welcome. I'm glad that I can get on today. I was off. So I was I like, know. you know what? I'm going to do you. it. <laughs> We've missed you. Good to, good to have you here. Lisa, your name was mentioned. Do you want to come in? Uh, what, what's present for you this morning? Anything you would share? And I see Janine's hand raised as well. Sure. I would love to. You. And I, I really love everything that you said, Nancy, so inspiring. And, and I met the sunrise today too, and it was it was a little cloudy in the past here in Kansas, but anyway, the, the being on the beach and being near the ocean is something I don't get to do very often. I think I've only been near an ocean, at an ocean, like four times in my life, but it's, wow, it is just, it's breathtaking and it, it really makes you feel free. And so that's kind of what re is resonating with me today is just that feeling of, you know, I mean, I, I wanted to just yell freedom like we sometimes have together here on the morning rush you know it's just it's it's beautiful to take in god's country and to be thankful for all the things that we have in the world no matter where you're from and you know just to embrace life and live life to the fullest i love what nancy said about getting to you know we while we're here on this earth we just need to embrace the day and make the most out of every day and appreciate appreciate what we have. And so I feel very fortunate and grateful today for for my family and for our freedom and for opportunities to go to the ocean, to go to the mountains, just to do um, those things that that really help us get in touch with our souls and kind of reset ourselves. Yeah. Thank you for that, Lisa. Um, sometime, well, you planted a seed too. We may we may have to yell freedom in a little bit, uh, maybe as we part ways <laughs> this morning. That'll be a fun exercise. But I was reflecting on that this morning. I, when I first got to Florida, I would go to the beach almost every day and I realized I got away from that a little bit. And my little dog, Brickley Moses, has not yet seen the beach or run in the water or done any of that as a little puppy. So we're going to go right after the morning rush. He's going to get his first taste of the beach. So that's going to be exciting as well. Janine, good morning. Happy Wait, oh, yes, it is. And actually right now we were just celebrating. It's my birthday o'clock. And so it's funny, David, what? because it's your Nancy birthday today. No, 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 no. It's my birthday o'clock, 7-11. So it's oh, a week no. from my birthday which I'm only laughing at because almost everyone in our meditation community who is able to is flying out to see my boyfriend's dad to celebrate him triumphantly overcoming cancer, except for Peter Swain, because he's taking his kids to the Bahamas on the 12th. And that's not fair. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I'm really grateful because as you were talking about the sunrises and sunsets, one of the things that really struck me yesterday, and I was so excited to report this this morning in Minneapolis, because of the weather, we have chosen to have celebrated 4th of July last night. And so I'm coming on with a rush of excitement that I didn't see the sun rise this morning because it's very overcasty and there's most likely going to be rain. I'm celebrating that we as humans have redefined what it means to be independent and no circumstances and situations will change. Where and when do we celebrate? And also celebrating when the suck happens that some people aren't able to be with us. And so Nancy, thanks for also mentioning like past descendants and people who have lost their lives for whatever it is. Um, and I'm just really grateful to be here this morning. So yeah, that was my independent thought this morning. Rewrite your happiness and celebrate even when there's clouds. Back to you, David. Ooh, that's a tagline if I didn't hear one. Re rewrite your happiness and what? Celebrate the clouds? Is that what I heard? Yeah, and you can't tagline it for me because it was a lesson Peter Swain taught me. <laughs> Literally on my phone, P.S. I still have, what is it? Um, what is one way I'm going to ruin my life? How can I dis disappoint the world today? And my favorite, what is one way I'm going to make the world sadder? Happy Independence Day. 
There, there is some background to explain behind that after AM has gone. <laughs> Context is uh, is important. I'm looking at well, AM. Do you want to come in, or should we give Peter the? Uh, no, we'll give Peter the honor. Peter, you got the honor. I think taking the honor from a man in that outfit is honor enough. But uh, the point was, people put these like motivational messages everywhere, um, and actually jolting your system uh, can actually be slightly more effective so to write something that is utterly ridiculous and utterly sublimely pathetic because the idea of of janine doing any of those things is crazy you look at it and you go this is ridiculous why would i do that and then you go and do the opposite um so it is the a motivational message written in the most non-motivational way which brought us to the question the other day when someone said you know empower from empowering people and me saying, well, you can be empowered by pretty crappy people. Um, and today is the perfect example of empowerment through pretty crappy people. Like the Brits treated you guys disgustingly a couple hundred years ago. Um, and that was the motivation for you to do something pretty empowering. Um, so it's uh, it's always the what you choose. And I guess my takeaway for the day is, you know, we are meaning making machines. It is completely up to us to decide what meaning we put on something. Um, D Rush, you can decide to say you know, we have been fairly remiss in going to the beach, or you can decide to say we've been saving it up for the the right day. Like they're that's the same thing, but it's not the same thing. I have uh, been waiting for this day. I can't. I, you know, yeah. it's been on the calendar see, for years. See how differently that feels. I've been waiting for the day to do this. This is amazing. That feels a damn sight better than, oh, I wish I'd done that. I should have done that. God, I suck. Good point. Um, Good point. You all rock. Thank you so much. And although I will not be celebrating with you, I will celebrate for you. Um, happy Independence Day. Love it. Love it. Good reframe. AM, over to you in that beautiful attire. Uh, well, for me, you know, one of the things I see the possibility, you know, because some of you know I'm passionate about ending the oldest profession in this world by 2030. And the very fact that today the governors are talking with the president about the future of what is possible. And I'm looking at the signs and I'm declaring, which may not happen, but I'm declaring the next president of the United States is going to be a woman. And I'm thrilled and excited about that possibility because for the first time, in the history of our lives, the possibility exists. I want to make sure the possibility becomes a reality. So this morning, I've got like five calls to make to DC. In encouragement of that, I've already talked to one governor and I want to talk to a few more governors and truly make it a day of in independence, not only for the United States, but independence for all the suffering nations, for all the suffering people around the world. I got up this morning being, being grateful to, for the people who gave their lives so we could celebrate this day. And it's, it's very sacred for me. That's why this morning, even though I went to bed about 11, I got up at 2.30 this morning and uh, spent the first hour with the Lord and then being grateful for all the people they gave that sweat, blood, and tears. They were Republicans, they were Democrats, they were independents, they were, you know, whatever religion, every single one of them gave their lives. So you and I get to benefit that. And I am declaring what could be possible for this country. Thank you for allowing me to share. Amazing, amazing. <clears throat> Thank you, I am. You are someone who stands for what you believe in and goes after it. It's beautiful. Thank you for being here.